Welcome back to NWA main event. The Heartbreakers in the ring now taking on the Mortons. The Heartbreakers jumping in on Stephen Dunn and then the return of Reno Riggins here to NWA. Unbelievable lead the balls right back here. But this is a hot and heavy right here between the Mortons and the Heartbreakers right now. You know, they had that big six-man match last week. And tonight they're going to have a big eight-man match in Columbia with Shane, Susan, Bubba Morton, and JT Quest take on the Heartbreakers, the Money Man Ronnie Brown, and Desiree. Beautiful drop kick by Shane Morton there. He's got John Caesar flat on the mat this morning. That's going to be a wild and woolly one in Columbia tonight. And, man, I tell you, I can't wait for the Clash of Champions next Friday night on the 20th right here in Nashville. NWA homecoming. Every NWA title controlled by main event will be on the line that night, plus other matches, Lee. That's right, the NWA Class of Champions, June 20th. That's Friday. The Boys and Girls Club, 67 Thompson Lane in Briley Parkway. The Mid-American Tag Titles on the line. We've already seen the match signed for that. The Vols versus the Heartbreakers. The Mid-American Heavyweight Championship. Two champions walk in, one champion will walk out. That's right. Mike Porter has said there will be a unification of that Mid-America title. There will only be one champion after Friday night in Nashville. The NWA World's Women's Championship on the line as Leilani Kai defends the belt against Christy Ritchie. That's right. Ladies' World title, real ladies wrestling right on the card in Nashville Friday night. The first ever NWA main event X Division champion will be crowned Friday night in Nashville. That's right. We're finally, finally going to have the main event X Division title league. And the NWA main event television title on the line, plus much, much more. That's Friday night, the 20th, in Nashville. Caesar hard to the corner, elbow to the side of the head of Bubba Morton. Caesar with a forearm to the back of Morton, just trying to beat him down there. Morton, not a small guy. And Caesar backs against the ropes, reversal by Morton. Caesar comes off, gets caught a power slam by Bubba Morton. The baby Morton now down for the cover, too, and Valentine breaking up the pin. Well, it's a good thing Larry Valentine got in there because Bubba Morton planted him right here on TV this morning. They're taking it to the Heartbreakers right now. The Heartbreakers got their hands full between the Mortons and the Vols. They're not going to know which way to turn, Lee. Double team here by the Mortons against Caesar. And Shane Morton now down for the cover. And Valentine once again breaking up the pin. Now, Mikey Woods and Hot Chocolate Corey Williams, both scheduled to be on TV today, have refused their television matches. They said they're not going to have a match until they can meet face-to-face, -face, which is going to be tonight. Boy, I tell you what, Lee, it's brewing between them two. It's going to get nasty tonight. It's not even a title match tonight. It's just going to be a good old fist fight in Columbia. And uh, you're right, both of them have refused the matches that were given to them on TV and said they will not see television ring today unless it's face-to-face. We'll see if we can get something on that a little later on in the show. Don't forget, if you want to find out information about the Nashville show coming up on the 20th, call the hotline at 317-0186. That's 317-0186 for all the information on the class of ch clash, excuse me, of champions in Nashville. That's right. It'll be a complete card listed on there this week, Lee. Against the ropes, Bubba Morton. Oh, what a clothesline there by Valentine. Larry Valentine now telling Caesar to come on. What's he doing? There's that hard head. Head first into John Caesar. And Caesar trying to shake it off. There's a tag into Caesar. Caesar coming in. Now, Larry Valentine and Caesar, they have held these belts for a tremendous long amount of time here in NWA main event. One of the longest runs is NWA Mid American Heavyweight Champion. That's right. They've held those tag team titles at this point right now. It could possibly be the longest reign anybody's had as Mid America Champions. I know uh, Renesto and myself had him for a good period of time, but it was back and forth with Sudden Impact. And uh, from what I understand, Sudden Impact going to be making their return here in the next week or two back to main event. Double team here by the Heartbreakers. Into the ropes goes Bubba Morton. And a double shoulder tackle takes him down. Now Valentine down for the cover. Two, and Shane Morton pulling him off. Where is Ronnie Brown this morning? I see Desiree at ringside, but the money man is absent from the Heartbreakers' corner. What's going on with that, Lee? There is so much dissension and so much ego and jealousy among those guys. Roll up there by Morton, too, and a kick out there by Valentine, who's quickly back up to his feet and a kick to the gun on Morton, cuts him off. As Valentine sets him up for that suplex, picks him up, holds him up in the air, and drops him down small on his back and a tag into Caesar. You never know who's on what side with the family. You've got so much dissension going on. The Heartbreakers trying to cause problems between uh, Lone Star and Mikey Woods. 
everybody trying to say who's the most important champion here in the NWA main event. We hadn't even really touched on this last week. The family controls all the belts. Exactly. They control every NWA title except the X division. And who's to say Ronnie Brown won't buy into that before that night's over. But I'm telling you, with all his money, Lee, they say money is the root of all evil. And the family is starting to show wear and tear. There's cracks in the foundation. And I have a feeling before long it's all going to come tumbling down and Ronnie Brown's going to be at the bottom of the pile. The heartbreaker is in control of the Mortons here now down for the cover two and a kick out there by Bubba Morton. This non-title match here on TV between the Mortons and the heartbreakers. NWA main event television, WNAB channel 58 in Nashville and WXO channel 3 in Lewisburg. The ducks the clothesline and Morton now takes him. He catches him with a DDT. Valentine, not sure exactly what he was thinking. He ducked that head way too soon, Jeff. Yes, he did. He telegraphed that one, and Bubba Morton took advantage of it. There's a tag to Caesar. Bubba, Caesar in. Bubba Morton need to make it a tag to Shane in Watch the worst it. kind of way. Snap suplex by Caesar. Pitcher perfect, as usual. John Caesar now over for the cover. Down for a two count. He got that right shoulder barely up at two and a half was Bubba Morton. Desiree looks good today. Yeah, she's looking real good out of ringside. Forearm to the back by Caesar. Caesar now taking Morton, backs him into the corner, whips him hard across. Caesar full head of steam out of the way was Morton. Morton now waits for him, picks him up, sidestep there by Morton. And both men are down. Morton desperately need to tag his brother Shane in. Morton crawling over to his brother Shane, desperately need to make this tag now. As he gets to the wrong corner, trying to pull himself up, there's Valentine, and there's the tag of Shane Morton. Morton in now, big right hand to the side of the head of both heartbreakers. Shane Morton, House of Fire, coming in here in this tag team match on NWA Main Event Television, meeting of the minds. It's out of control here this morning. Lee. The Mortons are on fire in there. They're taking it to the Heartbreakers. And the shoulders into the gut there by Shane. Now they're going to whip the Heartbreakers into each other. Center of the ring. Both members of the Heartbreakers down. The Mortons. Shane over there on Larry Valentine. And Bubba now with a pin there on John Caesar. Only a two count. Desiree just smooth getting up in the ring here. What's she? She's got that cue ball. Desiree with the cue ball. Bubba Morton. Looks like he's going to waylay Desiree. And just threw the cue ball. There's John Caesar with it. Nails Bubba right upside the side of the head with it. He went down like a ton of bricks. And then uh, they nail Shane. He's all alone now. This is the moment the heartbreaker's been waiting for to get Shane Morton by himself in the ring. Snapmare took him over. And now let's see what they're going to do here. As they flip him over. They're going to go for the money clip. They're going to, there it is. Shane Morton's in the money clip. Referee. No help for him, Lee. Bubba's out cold. Shane Morton's tapping to the money clip. Bubba's out cold, as you said. And wait a minute. It's the Vols. The Vols are in the ring now. Taking it to the Heartbreakers. Oh, Stephen Dunn just beat the fire to John Caesar. And there's Reno on top of Valentine. The Heartbreakers and the Vols will meet Friday night for the NWA Mid-American Tag Team Championship. The Tennessee Vols in NWA made a bit, and the Heartbreakers don't like it one bit. Rolling around center of the ring, these two teams. What's going to happen Friday in Nashville? John on top, trading punches with Caesar and Reno over there with Valentine. Big right hand to the side ahead of Valentine. Talk about your impact. The Vols have made it right here on NWA television this morning. I can't wait till Friday, Lee. I can't wait for Clash of Champions. Heartbreakers outside, the Vols left standing in the ring. It's going to happen Friday. Clash of Champions, Mid-American titles on the line. The Vols versus the Heartbreakers.